ladies with no aka the boss lady and this podcast will be discussing about issues to do with uh, political situations in africa uh this political situation if involve the economic the social as well as the environmental politics uh, as a whole so the political situation in africa hasn't been changing and we can also see the results from the 2023 election in various african countries in the 2024 election there are many presidents who were elected re-elected i think almost two countries only have a new president uh, and in those two countries you know there are a lot of controversies and those countries like um, senegal and nigeria they are controversies you know whereby the, the the candidate was arrested for the election then in countries like south africa zimbabwe the best the presidents were re-elected uh, and also in, in the controversial manner so what are we saying as uh, the general citizens and now is the time where we should do follow-ups follow-ups from what the politicians have promised us to, since last year so i think we should do the follow-ups are we doing the follow-ups whereby we are you know we are challenging them demanding accountability what they have promised us uh, that they are going to do uh, when they are elected into office. So now I I pose this as a question to you and to myself as well to say that what are we doing uh, in, in terms of holding the government governments accountable? Um, and also, oh, is it our will for these uh, African presidents to be re-elected? Into I don't know you can tell me but personally i really think to some extent it is our will because we are not participating as people so yeah i really think we should play a bigger role than being idle and you know forward to whatever that is happening and accepting whatever that is happening so yeah um the lessons I've learned during this electoral, or what I've seen that have been happening during this election season, I've seen the internet being shut down. I've seen, uh, you know, human rights uh, uh, society being, you know, being abused. Uh, and most importantly, misinformation and disinformation uh, on the political candidates. Uh, so I think. It's something that we as the general citizens we should avoid as well as the, the, the government in Africa because the misinformation and disinformation yeah, can work well in politics. I know it can be ad- advantageous to some parties, but then at the end of the day, uh, you know, one, one, one smells meat is one means poison. Because uh, if disinformation spreads about a certain part, political party, means the the other parties gaining so i think we should avoid those uh kind of uh, things happening during the political campaigns during the elections day you know like here in zimbabwe the lack of ballot papers during the uh, during the polit uh, during the election day you know many people with the draw and they went back home it means that the numbers of people who who did vote were very few as compared to if the ballot papers were brought in in time people would uh, vote so you know you can't have uh, the ballot paper coming in by 12 uh, in the midnight who will vote so now you see those, those kind of things in other countries you know the internet were shut down uh, you know it's not uh, a good practice so my call to action is you know, the government and the people, especially in Africa, should find a common ground whereby we agree on something. We, you know, we compromise from each. Let it become like a relationship, um, you know, a love, a love relationship between a man and a woman, whereby they compromise so as to uh, to live together. Because we can't say, I will show you my power. Then you as a person, you will say, me too i can just live whether i like it or not i'm surviving in zimbabwe we call it 
saita ukuzi iti boy zino jika shazo shazo kana ivu zinungu rara matishungo jika so yeah that is my call to action and i would like to say please don't forget to subscribe like and share ah uh, and please 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 let's participate in the political action the political lives because everything is politics there's nothing that you can't fa- there's no way that you cannot fight politics there's there's nothing that politics is not involved in so please 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 let's participate let's demand accountability let's let us also be active and meaningful participants in our politi- political uh, arenas thank you